Well, we're back out here at Malakuta fishing with young bow and joiner. And today we're doing something different that I've not done a lot of, and that is fishing for brim with surface lures. And they're the sort of lures we're going to be throwing around today. Just sort of very similar to fishing flats. We'll be casting to edges, some snags, and using these surface lures. So on this video, we're going to go through a few techniques that Bowen likes to use, the gear he uses, and how he catches the brim on surface. He's been doing really well, so we'll come back soon, hopefully with a few fish, and Bowen can show us how, how to do this, and hopefully you can learn something, because I'm about to learn myself how to catch brim on surface. Let's go give it a crack. So just hooked up here. Today we're fishing a bit different to what we were yesterday. We're fish, trying to fish surface this time to get you a, get a couple of good fish on the surface. Pretty slow, but we've just hooked up to a little whiting here. Not really the target species, as you can see. Though he smashed the surface lure, he kind of wrapped himself up a bit there. But lift him up. Just a little one. So, oop. get try and get the hook out without getting into him, so there's one of the lures. He kind of smashed it pretty hard, so. So today, we're up here fishing surface, like Troy mentioned. We're just cruising down along this bank here, where the fish usually are sitting, they'll be feeding and just cruising along looking for anything, bait fish, prawns that are moving on the surface, which what our lures imitate very well. And so we're just going along, going along, hoping to pick up some fish. It's very quiet at the minute. It's pretty shut down. We've had a lot of boat traffic come through here in the last couple of days, but we're gonna keep trying, keep having a crack boys, and hopefully we'll get a couple. So, keep going. Looks like first brim, or is it a white? No, no, it, it, it is a brim. Bowen has hooked up to a whiting before, so first brim on the surface for today. Looks like a nice sort of fish. I'm going to come over this side of young Bowen out here. Such an enjoy, enjoying way to fish this. Like you. Alright mate. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Just on. cruising the flats. We're fishing the thing is don't rush it. Enjoy the fight. Maybe it takes a few minutes to get in. Take take that time. No rush. Nowhere else to go on holiday, having a nice fish. It's a good fish. You want me and Eddie? Yeah, you reckon you can get him? Oh I should be able to get him. On. There you go. Can't complain with that. Definitely wanted that. Very good way to fish. Well, it came in at 38. Very nice. Very nice, mate. Thank you for the privilege, mate, and for being a good sport. You get to go back home. So let's get some more. Always, when you're fishing with these sort of quality fish, just don't, don't rush them, make sure that these fish swim off. Far too valuable, such a beautiful fish. It takes you a little bit of time to make sure that fish is healthy, do it. There it goes. Just pinch him on the tail and push him down a little bit. There Bang! Mate, right, we just had double hook up there. And we we're fighting about who's had to pick the camera up first and unfortunately, Bowen's got off. So mine stayed, which is good. So. There's not too many times you can say you've caught the first two brim before Bowen's on the board, so he's teaching us, you know, that's what we hope with these videos that you're learning on how to. Obviously during this session we're going to go through a lot and 
Bo wanted to go through a lot of techniques and what he does, the gear he uses, etc. But this is an enjoyment. But a great way to enjoy fishing. Here's a good one again. That nice, nice buff on surface. Nothing beats a surface strike. There you go. A nice healthy malacuta black brim. Surface fishing. We're actually fishing Palmer's Bank at the moment. And this is an area up in the top lake. A hungry black brim. As we mentioned before that we filmed, we had a double hookup. So absolutely magic. And yet again, you get the privilege of going home, my friend. And there she goes, thanking you. So what we're doing is casting as far as you can across this flat, and we're just bringing our lure back, making it zigzag across the surface, which is what we call walk the dog. And we're just bringing it, bringing it, bringing it, then we'll pause it in case there's any fish following it, and they'll come up, usually like there's one there now doing it, and they'll come up under it, and you'll see a big swirl or a fish will slash at it or something. And that's usually when you'll hook them on the paws. You'll get them too when you're working it. But usually on the paws you'll get them. There's something following me here right now. Again, it's a little fish. But yeah, when you're twitching it, they'll usually come up. You'll see boils, you'll even see a bow wave sometime. And that just lets you know the fish is there. If it seems really, really wanting to hit your lure while it's moving, keep it moving. If it backs off though, stop your look briefly and see if it'll come back onto it. And you should be away. The, the hookup rate with these isn't the best because the fish really have to slash at it. Or, there you go, there's one there. We really have to slash at it to hook up. And so you usually, you'll see when you hook these fish, they'll be sometimes in the cheek or somewhere, which is where they've come through and slashed at it and they've just whacked, they've hooked themselves in the side of the cheek that little tail hooks just whack them as they're coming around it's so, hooked up here it's not a big one not as big as troy's but it's still a good little fish so we'll just lift him in just a little one probably now uh, 30 centimeters if you're lucky 28 probably so not bad little fish, still great fun. But they're not worried to hit these big lures. Like if you lure that lure, it's way bigger than his mouth, so probably have a bit of trouble swallowing, but they'll still come up and whack it. Get another one quickly, right right up shallow here now. Come right up onto the shallows of the flat. Cast it back out. We're getting follows most casts up here at the minute. There we go. Oh, they're on me again. Still following me. Here we go. There we go. Oh. Very hard not to strike this, even I'm striking them a fair bit, so it's pretty tricky. And, but as soon as you can get it not to strike them and just roll into them once you've, you know they're on. We'll try again, so two times will work. Let's bring it back past where I had the fish on it. We've got them on me again now. Let's see if they'll come back. They're still following me. I'll stop it. Twitch it a bit, stop it again. Fish is backed off, so I'll twitch it again, see if we can get his attention. He's still following it, but he's backed off a bit. Oh, had a little slash. But they're still on it, even though it's getting close. Close here, see there's a little tail there coming out of the water. So they're still following it right up close to the boat here. But that's what you do, just twitch it back. It'll look like anything. Fish just there boiling everywhere at the minute. So, twitch, twitch. Just try and. Oh, there we go. Another one. Another little one, I think. There's this flat here at the minute is just alive with activity. There's fish boiling everywhere up here. 
what I did there was I seen, saw one boil, so I brought my lure past it, and he came up and grabbed it. Just another little fish though. Try and get him in and get another cast on this flat while we're on here. Don't want to pull too hard on him. These hooks sometimes aren't him the best, so we'll just give him a little bit of stick, but we won't go too hard on him. There he is. Another little fish. So as you can see there, like I was saying before, hooks swung around and pinned him. So there you go, another just top little fish for up here. There's, some def there's definitely some bigger ones around. But, so we'll see if we can get a bigger one. Pop him back. Okay, we're having a bit of a, a laugh between us here and I sort of said, do you want someone to catch a big fish now? Since Bowen's showing the little fish, I'll show you how to catch a big fish. And Bowen's a bit dirty, so he's put me down the back of the boat. I'm not allowed up the front anymore. So that's okay. He'll, he'll come around. But no, nah, it's pretty, pretty impressive waterway. When someone's talking about how to do it, and they hook up two times, it's a pity we really can't focus on that lure because you're constantly seeing fish boil it up. Hit like that. Oh, there you go. Little surface strike. It's only a little fish. I've sort of got Bowen's disease now called little fish disease but while we're talking waffling out here it, it's working all right let's get this fish in now we've just hit the prime the prime spot like we're in about two foot of water we're seeing a lot of prawns when the lure hits jump off a lot of little bait fish Bowen get your lure in the water mate let's catch some big ones Well, how's this, eh? It's getting hot on the boat. The action's good. We're catching brim, whiting on surface. We've just pulled up to a little cove and cooling off. Absolutely unbelievable day. It's not too hot. Probably high 20s. The water's probably 23, and this is this is the life. It's what holidays is all about: relaxing, fishing, having a swim. As Bowen mentioned earlier today, as they sort of just swipe at that lure, they're sort of coming up the surface and just swiping at it, which is why you're hooking them, I guess, like so. It shows they're very, very aggressive with what they want. Very aggressive. So today, while we've been fishing up on the flats, just thought we'd take a break from the action to run you through our gear we're using. So I'm on a Miller Rods Control Freak Twitch Freak, a one to three, which is a one to three kilo rod. A bit shorter rod, so it's designed for flicking hard bodies and surface lures. I got that with a 2,000 size reel, four pound braid and a six pound leader. And then come down to the lure, which is a Bastet Sugar Pen in, I'm not 100% sure of the color, but just one of the ones that look kind of like a prawn. And then Troy's using Miller Rods Control Freak Rub Freak, which is designed for casting plastics, but it doesn't do too bad on the surface as well. He's got a 1,000 size reel with four pound braid and six pound leader, and then again, just another little Bastet Sugar Pen in a bit of a different color. Still got the same pattern, 
with the stripes and stuff, but this one's green instead of purple. So just cruise along these flats here, help with the electric and just hopefully getting the fish on these gear. Just want to fish light, no need to go heavy, we'll fish all, we'll go all the way down to three, four pound if you need to get the bites, but today they're pretty good, so we're up around six to eight pound if you want. And yeah, just hook, a, when you hook a fish, take it nice and easy. Make sure you keep the hooks on. The hooks are pretty, pretty sticky, pretty sharp, as Troy found out. But um, they'll still pull out of a fish if you go too hard, and especially on the surface, because the fish will swipe at it. They won't hook up very well usually, so I'll just maybe one or two pinned in the cheek or the gill. And with all that pressure as the fish is swimming sideways, it'll sometimes pull out, so you don't really want that. So just take them easy, you've got all the time in the world, bring them to the net, and you're good. So, we'll keep fishing, see what happens. So just come onto the back down the front here. Been trying up along, up the top lake for a while now. And the fish are there, but they've kind of shut down. Just hooked up here, hadn't been too long. It's a really, really big whiting, so I really hope we can get this on for you. He's a really good fish. So just came screaming up out of nowhere like they usually do and absolutely hammered the lure which is pretty classic of a big whiting so just go a little bit easier on him for So there we go. Oop, a bit slippery. Let's try and get him a bit better. There you go, there's a whiting. A bit better size than the ones we were catching this morning. Smash the sugar pen. So he's a good fish, probably oh he'll push 40. I'm not sure if he'll go that good, but he'll go close. So good fish. Now probably he's one of his luckiest days of his life because we'll put him back today. They don't, I don't usually chuck too many of these things back because they're very, very nice fish to eat, as I'm sure a lot of people out there will know. But I guess he picked the right day to eat me lure, so we'll put him back. We're hooked up. Looking a bit nasty out there, and we're thinking of pulling the pins soon, but before, just came up for one more drift or something. He just hooked this big flatty. He's not going to go huge, but he'll probably go, he'll go over 50. So... Not a bad fish. Just trying to get one or two more green. But don't know if that'll happen. Trying to get some pretty good boys. Not a monster, but in the net. So there we go. Not a bad little flatty for up here on the flats on a surface lure. Probably go just a smidge over 50 if we're lucky. So, good fish, came off the black, the surface little pretty hard, so we'll put him back, get him going on his way. We'll see if we can actually get a bring this time. <laughs> All right, hooked up again. Come right up in the middle of the flats here. We just hooked a flatty cut, one cast before, and we just hooked a brim. Not massive, but he's a bit bigger than what I've been getting today, so I've been having the curse of the little ones, so it's not a bad little fish. Do something a bit risky, try and lift him, you probably pull off in the boat. Nice little yellow fin, as you can see, probably in a bit with the camera, they're a lot lighter and a lot wider than those blacks we were catching earlier. They're a lot higher their body weight. He's actually got only half a tail on the bottom, but whoop. So yeah, he's not a bad little fish, pretty chunky. So smash the sugar pen. And yeah, so we'll probably this is probably gonna be our last fish I think. So chuck him back. Might have a couple more casts but I think this is pretty much gonna be our last. Better head in the storm over there is looking pretty nasty so don't want to be out risking it with that at the minute with our rods, but unhook him. Hooked another flatty. Looks like he's 
downed it pretty good, so we'll be careful here. Nothing as big as young Bowens though, nowhere near it. Unbelievable colours in them. Unbelievable colours in this. So it's a nice way to finish. The colours in these duskies and the sand flats is unbelievable. So great way to fish as you've seen with the surface lures. And got myself caught, and that's how good they are. They catch everything, mate. Fish, humans. So you've seen on the video today just what a versatile lure this is on the flats. Flathead, obviously brim, whiting, you name it, these things can catch it. And what's so enjoyable is when you get the strike, the surface strike's unbelievable. Because you're in shallow water, the fish fight better. It's such a fun way to fish, so enjoyable. I'd like to thank Bowen so much for his time and coming out and showing us around. We hope you've learnt some how-tos, and that's what we've really tried to make sure we do with this video, is just explain exactly how and why, and then you can come out and catch such quality fish like you've seen today. So thanks to Bowen. We're just going to finish this drift, this bank. We might get another fish. If not, we're going to pack up because the storm behind us is brewing. Also, I think the beers are brewing, so looking forward to a nice little feed tonight at the Bowen's house. We thank for Bowen for having us down, so thank you very much, and we hope you enjoyed.